on the power, gravel in road, tight left, bumpy. Slight bit of rear, it's got off a tiny amount of speed, not too much, can't spare any. Ah, it's like the Isle of Man TT. It's not very often that I review 125 motorcycles and when Sinis Motorcycles contacted me and said do I want to try their new SMR125 normally I've said no I'm not interested but I thought hang on a minute I haven't ridden a 125 since I was probably 17 years old how have these bikes improved over this time also this is of course a Chinese motorcycle this bike costs £3,400 on the road it's, it's, it's an absolute bargain, so I thought, yeah, drop it down, let's test it out. It'll be a bit of fun anyway, watching a 20 stone, 6 foot 2 elephant ride around on a little 14 horsepower 125, but I thought, let's do it. Bring it on, Sinis. Let's see what she's got. Chopsy, roll the intro. <laughs> So here we are, the Sinis SMR 125. So uh, as I said at the beginning, I've not ridden the 125 in ages. This will be interesting. Um, you know, this is 14.8 horsepower. And the 0.8 matters <laughs> when you've only got 14 horsepower. I think it's 11.5 newton meters of torque. You know, it's, it's a supermoto, 17 inch wheels, you know, little four-stroke engine it's electric start the bike weighs 140 kilos even got upside down forks for heaven's sake this is 3400 pounds powering it up you've got a little uh, lcd display going on here a fuel gauge would you believe blooming fuel gauge 14.8 horsepower at your fingertips Oosh. 125 is all about fun. This is, this is your introduction to motorcycling. You know, if you have a bad experience when you get your little 125, you know, that, that's probably end, ends most people's motorcycle careers when they have a bad experience on their little 125s. Going on the brakes, all oh, the brakes are all right. The brakes are pretty, pretty okay on this. Oh, we've caught up with the, with the funeral. Show a bit of respect, Chopsy. What are you doing? Whatever you do, he's going left, he's indicating right. Peak power is at 11 and a half thousand revs. She loves to rev. I, I don't think I've actually ever ridden a four stroke 125. Obviously back in my day, back in my day, your 125s were, were two strokes. I think they were making, you know, your 125s back in my day were making like 20, 22 horsepower, I want to say, because they were two strokes and obviously two strokes make a lot more power than a four stroke but for saying that i mean this is actually whiz whizzing along quite nicely it's got upside down forks but of course it's uh, it's non-adjustable there's no adjustable suspension don't be ridiculous but they're upside down you know i mean that they, they feel they feel sporty it, it actually feels to ride it doesn't feel bad at all. This is going to be interesting. Overtaking this. <sighs> I'll have to do it now, although I'll never do it. Thank you, sir. Once we get up to speed, I'm never going to get past. One thing I'm noticing. Oh, the rear brake. The rear brake's pretty good, actually. Bit of rear brake. But one thing I'm noticing, I will spit it out in a minute, is the seat where it's quite high at the back. I'm sort of, you can't sit far back on the seat. You're sliding forward to the, uh, you know, where you should really be sat on the supermoto, right? At, with your legs around the tank, you know. I always see a lot of people riding supermoto sat right on the back like this. You know, right at the back of the seat like this. It's like, well, yeah, that may be very comfortable for your legs, but... You've got all the weight on the back of the bike. It's never going to handle like that. You've got to sit forward. And on this, you've got no choice because you're being slid forward by the seat. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We've got to jump here. We've got to jump here. 48 miles an hour, six gear. Oh, no. Nothing. Another jump, another jump. Wee hoo hoo! Oh, oh. Around the corner. It actually handles pretty, pretty reasonably, you know. I do like the fact you can just ride it literally flat out everywhere. You can just ride it with the throttle on the stop. You know, and then, then that's it. Here we go, here's the corner now. Oh, yeah. 
yeah it's, it's all right actually throttle's wide open six gear speed is slowly increasing i'm catching him i'm catching him go for the overtake i don't think so <laughs> those front brakes are well uh, yeah you've got to really pull it, it there's there's not that much power there you know i don't know what size everything is we'll have a look when we uh, get off for a little walk around and i'll show you some details of this fine steed let's have a look there's, there's 30 miles an hour nothing behind me let's do an emergency stop actually if, if you really pull them really pull them down through the box there it's okay you're not going to want to do any track days on it <laughs> put it that way go for the overtake ah boarding go for the overtake you've got to line things up well in advance <laughs> i can't i can't there's not enough room <laughs> even overtaking cars becomes an art form here we go naught to 60 shame i've lost my draggy i've lost my draggy everyone i can't do naught to 60s anymore straight into second into third coming up now fifth we're going to have to slow down for the corner <laughs> yes or maybe not oh yeah fifth gear on the stops around the twisty section shift your way over oh yeah she is flying she is flying so 50 through there is not, not, not a bad speed. It handles surprisingly well. I thought it was going to handle like a steaming turd. Fifth gear, fifth gear, fifth gear. Should we go six yet? Shall we go six yet? Six. Is it pulling? Is it pulling it? Let's give it out. Get down. Give it hand. It's a bit up here, so this isn't going to help us. We're running out of power. We're running out of Harry Potter. 55, 54. Come on, 55. This is uphill. This is uphill, 54. So it's not really a, a good test. Oh, yeah, this, 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 this is not happening. 52. This, this ain't happening. Mechanical sympathy when you're riding a 125, I don't think exists. As long as you warm it up before you set off, you've got no choice than to just ride it on the stops. Well, you have it when you're 20 stone. So here we go, we've got a big downhill now. Now we're going to see some top speed. 62, 64, oh, we're flying. 66, there's a corner. Oh, that front brake, pulling it hard, pulling it hard, pulling it hard. First gear's done. Second gear's done. We've got slightly damp roads. Third, fourth into fourth. Knee out. Oh, we're not, we're not got the momentum. We're dying. We're dying. Come on, baby. This is the hill climb. This is your time to shine. That's it. Come on. Around the corner. That's it. Hello, boys. Come on. If we time this right, <laughs> I don't want to die. So there she is, the Sinis SMR125. Let's take a closer look. Up front, we've got fully upside down suspension. I must say the whole bike is very tall. I don't know what the seat height is. I'll pop it on the screen, but it's a tall machine. If you're shorter with this bike, you're gonna struggle to get your leg over. No pun intended. Front caliper is a two pot, a two pot front caliper. And I think it's actually the same caliper, which is on the rear, but yeah, okay. Um, front disc is uh, sort of decent size, larger than the, than the rear disc, but I think actually it's the same caliper. Here is the power plant on this mighty beast. Now I've seen some reviews of Chinese bikes where there's been some fundamental design flaws, like you've got to take the exhaust off to, get the, to, to put oil in the thing. Not so here, we have a, the oil filler there, we have an exhaust here, I can't see anything being obstructed too badly. We've even got a lambda sensor in the exhaust. All the carb or throttle, but is it carb? Car is it fuel injected? It's fuel injected. There's that rear caliper, or is that the front? 
I'll let you guess. Tim Sun tyres. Okie doke. And I've got a bit of chicken strip left. I really must try harder. Best thing about this bike is this. Look at this full LED lighting. Not even the Ducati Hypermotard has an LED front light. We've got one on this and we've got some KTM plagiarized indicators. They look exactly like the ones on my SMCR. Here's a closer look at that little LCD dash. Surprising amount of information on there, including fuel gauge, clock, rev counter, gear indicator. Pretty good. There's that LED tail light. Shakshi. So there she is, the Sinus SMR125. Let's jump back on and let's do that 0 to 60 test. If I was in the market for a 125, I'm not. If I was, if my uh, if if Chops Junior was after a 125, I would definitely consider this because. I like the Supermoto style. I mean, if 125s are small bikes, aren't they? But if you go Supermoto, you know, you've got a decent sized motorcycle. And I don't think many people would actually think this was a 125. So I really like that about it. You know, it looks bigger than actually the capacity would suggest. And, you know, I just think there's some, you know, Supermoto's handle particularly well, don't they? I mean, you know, the tyres are a decent, you know, for a 125, or a decent size, you know, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's time for that top speed challenge. Challenge is, can we hit the top speed? Not how fast we can get there. Okay, 0 to 60, check the mirror, let's go. Has it got launch control? No. No wheelie control, there's no issues with the front coming up. Third, fourth, fourth. No point over revving it, it's just making noise, it's not actually pulling any longer. I know they said peak power was 11,500 revs, but I'm not so sure about that. 50! Oh, here's the nice downhill section. Right, let's get in, let's get in the tuck. 60! We're now officially breaking the speed limit. 64, 65, 66. Come on, get lower chops. 67, oh nice bit downhill, 68. Come on, we're gonna hit the uphill now. You, it's now or never. It's now or never. It, it's never. Oh, can't quite hit 70. <laughs> and not with me on it. I can't quite hit 70, even on a little bit of downhill. So, you know, it got close. And I've just realized I've been lying this whole video. I have ridden. A 125, a modern 125. I've ridden the GSX S125 and the GSX R125. So yes, I have ridden a modern 125 four stroke. Apologies for those who are shouting at the screen, calling me a liar. I've just remembered. I've just remembered I've ridden them <laughs> around Silverstone, nonetheless, and they were very good actually and great fun. And yeah, I can't remember any any much difference between this and them. Can you wheelie it? Mm, no. Third gear, on up here, it's brilliant for wheelies up here on third. Yeah, not today. On the stop, there's a big bump in the ground here. Let's see how the suspension handles this great big bump. Ooh, that's not bad at all, you know that. It doesn't, it, it even, it doesn't even like bottom out the suspension over big bumps. That's the beauty, I think, of having, you know, this sort of style of bike. The suspension's beefed up, you know, even if it's, you know, it's cheap suspension. Because it's big and beefy, if you're a bigger guy, this is definitely the sort of 125 I think you should buy. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Fourth gear. 100% throttle. Fifth gear. Coming around the downhill twisty, twist, twisty section, muscling the bike over, counter steering on the back brake, slightly carrying corner speed through here. Slight tap of the rear on the power again, makes the apex. Oh, poetry in motion. Riding a 125 every road is like being on a track day. <laughs> you're flat out, you're flat out, and you're only doing the speed limit. Now we're going into a 60, it may as well be under the 60 speed limit. 
basically it's flat out. Oh, 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 57, 58, 6 gear, 59. We've hit the 60, 61, 61. We've got a right hander, a bit of counter steering, pushes it through, 62. Right hander, rear brake, rear brake, on the power, on the power, gravel in road, tight left, bumpy, straight on, bumpy, suspension, lapping it up. Corner, corner. Slight bit of rear, scrub off a tiny amount of speed, not too much, can't spare any. Drop a cog, open the throttle. On the power, on the power, on the power. Third gear, still on the power. Revs not increasing. Remaining static, on the power, on the power. On the power, still in third, on the power. Still on the oh, revs increasing, cresting hill, cresting hill. Fourth gear, fourth gear. Oh yeah, it's like the Isle of Man TT. It's literally like the Isle of Man TT, this. Ooh, you got the brake. Ooh, 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 ooh. Peter Hickman. I mean, no, of course, you know, I can't tell how reliable this bike's going to be from just a, a quick test ride, you know. What's it going to be like after two or three years of winter use? I, I can't answer that. But, you know, first impressions, how it rides, the performance, I'm pretty impressed with this. So if you're in the market for a 125, if you're new to biking, you want something to, to get you on the road, to, to experience the, the thrills of motorcycling, and supermoto as well, you know, then this, I love this. I think this is fantastic. So uh, go and check it out if you want to try one. And I'll say a massive thank you to Sinis UK for lending, lending this to me. To have a gun. I know this has been a fun video and there's been a bit of Mickey taking. That's nothing to do with the bike. That's just the fact that I'm riding a little 125. You know, there's it's comedic value there. So I've played on that a little bit, but that's not I'm not taking the mick out of the bike itself. It seems very, very good. Okay guys, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. This is power level one, which is full power. <laughs> I could do that all day. What have you done here? <laughs> I told you I was scared back there. I've never dropped a bike before in my life. Oh! Backfire! That's it! That's it! <laughs> Listen to me. This whole ride I've done on two pounds worth of fuel and the fun I've had for two pounds, you know, the price of a, a Twix, you know, a, a, a duo, a Snickers duo, well, they're a bit cheaper now aren't they, but I mean two quid and I've been out 45 minutes worth of thrashing fun and I've used two pounds worth of fuel. You really can't argue with stats like that.